Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Marla. This is going to be a hopefully fairly quick elf uh, show and tell. I recently happened to be on the elf website. A lot of times if you go to this elf website, if you kind of look at the top corner, sometimes they're running specials and you'll see this little clock ticking down, ticking off the time that you have left to take advantage of that special. Well, recently I was kind of just browsing the website, looking around at some things, and they were offering 40% off. And there was like no way I could resist that, just totally impossible. So I purchased, because their products are already cheap as it is, and then when you get 40% off, it was just ridiculously priced. I think I got everything here for about $27 or something. It was just kind of nutty. But let me quickly go through what I got, uh, give you my impressions of it. I think I may have some pictures I can throw in here too. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you that I got, and when I first took this out and kind of was playing with it, I said to myself, okay, why did I get this? I really don't like the way this looks on my face. But I use it in a special way that it seems to work for me, so now I kind of like it. What it is, is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. And it comes in three shades. It comes in cool, warm, and a shimmer. And I got the warm, and this is what it looks like. And what this is, is it's a palette that is supposed to balance out your skin tone and kind of brighten your face. It's super lightweight powder. And basically these are supposed to be kind of all used in conjunction together. Now, I when I first got this, I didn't want to put, I put this all over my face and I didn't like the way it looked. It kind of made me look ghost-like when I put my foundation on top of it. And I was trying to figure out how to work with this. And then I realized that it also is supposed to kind of absorb oil. So I thought to myself, you know, instead of taking the normal e.l.f. HD powder I take with me uh, traveling, which is really a mess, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show it to you again because I did purchase another one because I really do like it for home use, but to travel with it, it is a pain. I won't even take it with me. This is actually just kind of a nice compact for mopping up some oil on my face and at the same time maybe doing a little balancing of my skin tone. And all I do is I just take, you know, my brush and just kind of swirl around the whole thing so all the colors kind of come together, fleck off any excess, and then just kind of dab around my nose, over my nose, any area that looks like it needs a little bit of mattifying. And sometimes I get, for some reason, I get like shiny up here. So I'm just gonna kind of dab that area. And you can see it really does a really nice job of mattifying and kind of sucking up the oil on my face. So if I use it kind of as a mattifying powder to travel with, it actually works too well. If I get a little too heavy handed with it though, it can have the tendency to make you look a little ghost-like. So let me quickly insert a picture of what the warm shades look like and uh, then I will move on to the next product. And while they were having that sale, I had to pick up another one of these lip exfoliating lipsticks. These are so great. I actually, I just really love this thing. I even take this with me when I travel. I love it so much. Basically all you do is you just wet your lips and then you rub this over. It exfoliates your lips. It has like these little kind of little rough particles in there that actually takes off all the dead skin on your lips. I think this was like only $3. Most of the stuff from e.l.f. is like $3, maybe up to $6. $6 that I got, but crazy, and it smells so good. It smells like chocolate, I love it, rub it all over, exfoliates everything. Perfect, perfect, one of the best lip exfoliators I've ever purchased. On to the next set of products. Now, as you know, I am a crazy concealer person, and I heard some good things about the e.l.f. 
HD Lifting Concealer. They have a couple of different types of concealers, but this is the HD Lifting Concealer. And it comes in three shades, and then it comes in kind of three other correcting shades. It comes in a brightener, which is your typical yellow brightener. I'm gonna show you a picture of this that really shows you the comparison of all of these together really well. But this is kind of the more yellow based brightener that sometimes you would put under your eyes to kind of brighten that area. That's what that looks like. There we go right there. And then it comes in a green one, which I did not get for redness. I just kind of use, I really like this better because this does have, this palette does have kind of a little bit of the green in to reduce the redness on your face. And it really does do that over my, when I, when I just buff it in over my face. I got this kind of a lavender base one, which is supposed to be a balancing one, but you know, I think this was, this was definitely a wasted purchase for me. I, I just don't like this at all. I don't, I have yet to find out kind of how to use this one, but this is the one on the right was the yellow balancing of the yellow um, brightening one. And then this kind of lavender, it looks a little too chalky white for me. Uh, maybe on a fair person, I don't know, but it just, I just could not work with this in any way. I couldn't figure out how to use it. I just didn't like it. But that's the lavender one and it's supposed to, I think, balance out your skin, but it didn't work for me. And then there were three choices of concealers and I, you know, they were so cheap, I decided to get all three of them because sometimes I mix them. But to be honest with you, none of them are really something I would kind of switch from what I have right now. They come in light, fair, and medium, and that's it. And the light and fair are a little tricky. This one, it's interesting because the light is darker than the fair and the medium to me is really dark. So I also have pictures of these. Let's see if I can show you these on here. Uh, the one all the way on the left. Why did I do this at this angle on my wrist? I mean, this is like the hardest thing in the world to do. Let's try it. Ow, let's try it that way. That works better. Okay, so we have the, you see the lavender? Brightening one is this one. The lavender correcting one is this one. This is the yellow brightening one. And then over on this weird angle of my wrist, which I don't know why I would swatch anything at that spot, the top one right there is the medium shade, which to me is kind of dark. The one below it is the light. And then you can see the lightest one of all is the fair. So let me insert some pictures here and I'll show you kind of what these all look like on my hands. And I think I took a couple pictures of them under my eyes. So let me do that right now. If you look at the top two shades, the yellow one on the left is the brightening concealer. The one on the right is the HD balancing color, the lavender one. And the three concealers on the bottom, the one all the way to the left, the darkest one is the medium. The one in the middle is called the light. And the very, the one on the very right that's the lightest would be the fair. Now I tried to take some pictures of these under my eyes, but my photographic talent is very much lacking. So I could not get good pictures of these, but really suffice it to say, none of these really were better than any of the concealers I currently have. And finally, the last two products I bought is I did a repurchase of the HD Elf High Definition, the mattifying powder, and it's messy as heck. And I think I've done a, I did a video of this before, but this stuff is so, stinking messy to work with, but I really like it. It does a really good job of kind of mopping up my face. However, for traveling now, I'm just gonna take this little tone correcting palette with me. And this does a great job, as you can see, of mattifying my face. The other thing I tried, and I'm just not quite sure if I'm really kind of on the train with this one yet, is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And 
This, when I compare this, when I look at this compared to just the HD powder, the setting powder has very, very slight, hardly able to detect, but maybe just a slightly, slightly more very, very super, super pale pinkish tone compared to the super white HD normal powder. The under eye one also, when you look at it and kind of go like this and kind of, you know, look at it at different angles, it has a little bit of kind of iridescent sparkles in some respect. At first, that kind of freaked me out. I thought, God, I don't want sparkles under my eyes. No way. But when I put it on under my eyes, it it's supposed to kind of diffuse that area and kind of brighten it up a little bit. The sparkles, when you kind of actually put them onto your eyes, you really don't really see them once you kind of blend it in. But this really, to me, was kind of not a necessary purchase. I normally just use my regular HD powder from e.l.f. and I use my beauty blender and just dab that and dot that on top of my regular concealer to set it. So I don't think, I mean, I, I honestly know I will probably not be buying or repurchasing this e.l.f high definition setting powder because I just don't see any other advantages to it than the powders I already have right now. That was my mini elf show and tell. Hope you guys have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.